I wanted to ask about what's going to be the next big technology shift in AI because things are changing so rapidly, especially as the models now are getting smaller and open sourced. Um, it feels like we've already conquered language. Visual AI is getting very, very good. What's next? What are you seeing that's around the corner that others might not be aware of? Yeah, you know what, Dan, it, about six, several months ago, I was predicting visual AI is coming next, but now everyone's like, all right, visual so I guess it's got to come with something new. <laughs> but but, but in, in all seriousness, I think visual AI would be much more about the analysis of images rather than just generation of images. But I think we're at like the GPT-2 moment for visual AI is not yet working, but I think it will work much better. And this will impact self-driving cars, for example, when we can finally you know solve problems in the long tail. Uh, so, um, and then I think, actually, one, one other thing that um, I wrote about just today in a newsletter called The Batch is I think one, one, one thing that many people find controversial, but I think is coming, is the rise of edge AI. And I know this is controversial. Many of us who trained to write SaaS software, you know, lends itself nice to subscription business model. Um, how do you even find people? Like, how do you even hire engineers to write desktop applications? Like, who even does that anymore? But I think that um, uh, because of, um, for, for, for various forces, including privacy, I think that in the next few years, we'll see more AI applications uh, running at the edge, meaning on your laptop or on your, or on your cell phone. So I think that'll be coming. Um, and then I think there'll just be a lot of work coming in the application layer yeah. as well.